Ichimo here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the uh, Oculus Rift running in uh, Star Citizen 3.0. There's a couple things you need to do to begin with. First thing is, if you're running an overlay, you need to turn it off. I'm using RTTS. Uh, the way to turn this off is to shut down MSI Afterburner. You want to close it out. Once you close it out, you can start your Oculus Rift. Once you start it up, just minimize it. Next thing you want to do, if you're using any other programs like Voice Attack, go ahead and start them. Get them up and running. Once you have Voice Attack running, start the launcher. This is very important. You have to start the launcher before you start VorpX. After you start the launcher, then you'll want to start VorpX. You do not want VorpX to hook the launcher, which it will do. If it hooks the launcher, it won't work. Once you do it, you want to configure VorpX. Let it give it time to load. Once it loads, these are the settings that I use to get it running. I just use the start page here. I do not go into the profiles. You don't need them. Hit apply and close after you set these up. Now we can go ahead and launch the game. Now Star Citizen, uh, Vorpex will give you a hook. It will show that it's hooking. Star Citizen EXE, that is what you want to hook. You do not want to hook the RSI launcher. It's taking a little while to load here. It might give you a warning. Don't worry about it. Right now, you can put on your headset. You will be in Star Citizen. Now we'll let it load up. Should have your headset on. I will go into Vorpex control panel by using the delete key. I will turn on mirror mode so you can see the settings. And it'll go into mirror mode here in a second. And there we have it. Okay, now you can see the Vorpex control panel. That's what we want to do. Okay, now we're going to bring it up. This is what I have set up. We'll go back to the original first page. Oops, one too far. You want to put it in full VR mode. Any of these modes will work. I'm just using Z normal for now. These are the settings I'm using. You can adjust them to your preferences. This is just how to get it up and running quickly. Same way with every page. Set them up to your preferences. Now, being as you do not have a profile, <clears throat> every time you load this, you're going to have to uh, reset up Vorpex to your, uh, to your preferences. You'll have to run. It's another thing very important is you'll have to run Star Citizen in a window. Do not run it in full screen. Make sure it's running in a window. Set your desktop resolution to whatever your game resolution is for the best uh, for the best uh, works. You can see your uh, if you're using a gamepad, you can see your menu. You can bring your menu up with your gamepad. These are specific menu hotkeys. You don't need to use them. Once you set everything, hit OK and save. Now I will go back in and I will turn off mirror mode. Because it just will not work. Or it's just a pain in the ass to get all the keys to work in mirror mode. I'm going to go back in and turn off my mirrors. There we go. Now we're ready to go. We're just going to load into the PU. I haven't done it before. I'm not really sure how well it will work. 
one thing I noticed was it took an exceptionally long time to load the game into the PU. I don't believe this had anything to do with Oculus Rift. I think it just had to do with the server server uh, returns, server performance. It was over two minutes, and I did edit most of it out. Okay, here comes our load. Uh, we're in the PU. It was an awful long time to load. Be patient. Don't don't quit. Like I say, it was well over two minutes, almost three minutes before it loaded into the PU. Sure, that's server performance. FPS really doesn't seem that bad here in the Oculus Rift. We are in the Rift. We are in VR. I uh, have no idea what the server performance is right now. I uh, could uh, control uh, Use the command control commands to find out. Just not that important to me right now. Uh, doesn't seem to be any worse than uh, running it without in the Oculus Rift. Uh, I'm guessing we're getting decent frame rate right now, but I have no idea how how overloaded the server is, or if I'm just I'm on the East Coast, so odds are there's not a whole lot of people on right now, so probably why it's working so well. But we are in 3D VR right now, running in the Oculus Rift. I don't have a Vive to double check that this procedure will work in the Vive. I think it will. Somebody else with a Vive is going to have to uh, verify whether this same procedure will work in the Vive or not. But this is how you get it running in the Oculus Rift, using Vorpex.